What's going on guys, Duelum here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be talking about some arena battles and some new defenses I've been seeing in my arena shard, including that big time Spider-Man and Nightcrawler one that's been stumping a lot of people. So if you guys are ready, let's get into it. Coming into the first room, we're going to hit number four, Ryan the Rhino. Um, he's got Nightcrawler, Apoc, Sus, Black Cat, and Black Knight. And the team I run to beat this is going to be uh, Black Cat, Robbie, Sus, Apoc, and Black Knight. My Sus is a Raider. Robbie's a Raider as well for more vulnerables out there. Black Cat's going to be the Striker. Same with Apoc. Uh, for reference, Apoc is 3 diamond on uh, my account here. Black Knight's going to be 6-6. Six, six. Sus is only 5 red. Uh, Robbie's 3 diamond. And then Black Cat is uh, 7 red as well. Um... I do like having Robbie as a raider here because it's an extra person to put out some vulnerables as well to get through some uh, heavy hitting targets quicker, especially if you're stuck behind that taunt on Black Knight, especially if it's a big Black Knight. It's definitely helpful having that extra vulnerable out there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit the special here and Black Knight gets the exposed sometimes, doesn't get it other times. It's not the end of the world if he doesn't get it, honestly. Um... But getting it is nice. The main reason we do that is to do, get that rewind on the Black Cat. So obviously, Nightcrawler is going to go give the Super Scroll a little bit of a turn meter. Now, I get to basic here because uh, I had a bunch of negative effects put out. Sus got turn meter. So we hit the basic here. And it's going to chain all the way over to Apocalypse there. Apocalypse gets that trauma, gets all those issues. Now you see here, I get that special from Robbie, so we're going to get some decent damage on Black Knight. Also take off that taunt, so we don't have those issues anymore. Okay, and then we do have a trauma stun here, so we have options on what we can do. We could trauma stun Black Knight, or we could trauma stun Apocalypse. Uh, my choice here is going to be trauma stunning the Black Knight, because Apocalypse uh, is gonna ult but i'd rather have him ult instead of ha being stuck behind the black knight when he's gonna special here and black knight's now dead so less issues there now obviously we have the black knight ping my black cat's now dead but we can make sure their super scroll is ability blocked and now i get to use the ult on apocalypse here kill super scroll and apocalypse and then i get to Falcon Punch, their Nightcrawler. So, it's not too bad, honestly. There's not a lot of RNG. Nightcrawler's not going to stun anybody. Um, your main focus is you just want to take down that that uh, Black Knight as quickly as possible. Uh, and then leave their APOC up. He ends up ulting, but honestly, it doesn't really matter who he ends up killing. Because there's four targets, and you're going to have enough left in the tank to finish it off. Um, now we'll look at some of the big time variants. So, we'll go to number three here, Daymao. Uh, he's got, obviously, Black Knight 5-5. Five five. He's got the uh, big-time Spider-Man, 3-Diamond, Apoc, Sus, and then a Nightcrawler. So a little bit of a smaller team here, but he's got the big-time. So we're going to use the same team here. We're going to go in here. And there's two kind of two ways you could do this. Um, I've seen both ways work. Uh, I'm going to see if the special way works first, and then the I'm going to see if the basic way works. Uh, here, it, there's RNG to this. It depends if your uh, if their Black Knight pulls the uh, taunt, or if their BTS pulls the taunt off your Black Knight. Here, it didn't because BTS is slower. Um, but what we could do here is still special to get the rewind on Black Knight. And then they're going to get a rewind on me. Now we have Nightcrawler specialing, which doesn't uh, doesn't stun my Black Knight because he's got that immunity as per usual. Bunch of negative effects get put out, which means my Super Scroll gets to go uh, a little bit quicker. We got the Black Knight special coming out, or the uh, Black Cat special coming out. She's probably going to die soon, though. And then now we get the basic from my super scroll here it gets a lot of damage out there you can see he does a a lot here um their apoc is about to go but guess what i get to hit this nice ability block on apoc so i don't even let him thunder punch here 
that Black Knight's a little bit smaller, so I'm letting him kind of do as he pleases a little bit um, because I know I'm going to have the damage to take him out. If it's a bigger Black Knight, you could probably take him out instead. But since he's a little bit on the smaller side on this defense, I decided to do that to the APOC. Um, so obviously, their Super Scrolls now dead. I get to ult. And I get to kill their Black Knight. And now I just have Nightcrawler left to deal with. And Nightcrawler is probably dead from this. So you can see this defense is not too bad. Um, the bigger the big time Spider-Mans get, the harder it gets. Because uh, your taunt will get ripped off of Black Knight turn one by big time Spider-Man. And it'll be problematic. But it's still not impossible even when that happens. Uh, I'm going to go against number uh, two now, who has a 4-4 four, four big time Spider-Man. Not that big either, um, but we're going to go against him so I can show you guys once again. This is a bigger team, actually. You can see it's a two-diamond uh, APOC. This guy is definitely level 100. A one-diamond Black Knight as well, and a Super Scroll. So let's go into this fight. Same exact team, same ISOs, nothing changes, and we'll see how this ends up treating us here. Again, that Black Knight does give you some RNG to it because he could pull that taunt off and then you don't know who they're going to be hitting. Their big time is going to go first. Uh, he does not pull off the taunt here. And then I get to special and rewind their APOC and their Black Knight. Now their sus gets to special. Rewind my APOC and Black Knight. Okay, Nightcrawler goes, doesn't really do anything. Now you see I got a bunch of turn meter on Super Scroll. I get to use the special here to do some good damage to these two here on the corner. I'm going to get more damage on their Black Knight here. Put a defense down on him, which is also really nice. And you'll see my Super Scroll is going to go here, and he's going to do some pretty big damage here. Um, you'll see also my Apocalypse just got stunned because of the Retaliate on their Super Scroll, and then the issue of the passive stun and stuff like that getting pushed back. But now I have a Super Scroll. You see he's level 98, 5 red. Uh, this basic is going to go into hit pretty hard. Yep, it did. By Apocalypse, and now I can hit their Black Knight. Their Black Knight's now ability block, so he can't do his special to get more charges up. Now I can, I don't need to focus him. He's got the bleed, so I'm gonna go over here and make sure these guys are all dead with this massive Black Knight ult. Um, see, Black Knight's now dead. I just have Nightcrawler to deal with, and that's it. He's dead. Super, super easy, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. I get it though. I have a massive Black Knight. I have a three diamond APOC, I get that. But the mechanics are still the same. The damage just won't be there as much. I get that. But you can still pull it off. That's the team I've seen work the absolute best here. Um, and then I, I will fight this one too. Show you guys this fight. Um, so this one, this has the, the hard light here. And I'll show you guys what I was talking about in the beginning. How hard light's not going to be able to rewind anybody. Um, so what you do at the beginning of this matchup is you use the special as per usual with Super Scroll and uh, play it from there. It's it's pretty simple, honestly. Uh, I do have, once again, the T4 passive on Black Cat, so their Black Cats don't spawn with Death Proof, so I am able to get this rewind right off rip on both of them. So that rewind does go on Black Cat. And then you see the rewind from Hard Light hits my Black Cat, who has Death Proof, and my Robbie, who can't be rewound because of the Death Proof. Um, and then there's two options you could do here. You can either hit the Black Knight or you can hit the Ms. Marvel Hard Light. Um, the thing about hitting the Ms. Marvel Hard Light here is you're going to be hitting the Apocalypse. So it kind of depends on where you want to go here. Um, I like hitting the Black Knight just to get the most damage on him here and possibly take off some charges if it happens. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I will say with, uh, with this, uh, you have an option again the, the issue is, if you special on Black Knight, then you know you won't be able to basic on Black Knight because it's going to pull the taunt off because Robbie has super, super high focus. So what I'm going to do here is use the special on Ms. Marvel Hard Light, get all those buffs off of Apocalypse, and also make it so that Black Knight still has a taunt here. 
So I'm able to hit him when I want to. He's actually going to keep the taunt anyway because he gets to use his special. Uh, I am going to basic here. And I'm going to go down the line, hit the apocalypse. You see apocalypse retaliates. I get stunned, but their apocalypse gets stunned because of the passive. So he was stunned. It went all the way around. He didn't take his turn, which is great. So now I don't have to worry about him as much. I use the Black Knight special, get those that safeguard and taunt up. And then I use the ultimate, get their apocalypse pretty low. I already pushed him past the 50% threshold as well. So he's not an issue right now. Their Black Cat goes. Now my Black Cat goes. I'm stuck on the taunt from Hard Light here. But I do get to kill the Hard Light, if I'm not mistaken, with the Striker attack, maybe. No, that's a beefy Hard Light. Okay, let's see who... Oh, I got bad RNG here. You can see the RNG can be bad sometimes, um, just based on who their Apocalypse picks and everything like that. Um, so it is what it is. Sometimes it happens. But you can see, obviously, no attack is perfect. No defense is perfect either. But I hope this helps you guys beat those big-time Spider-Mans in arena defense so you guys are able to climb. Uh, I have been running it as my defense as well, and my big-time Spider-Man is not that big, but I do have him as a skirmisher. Um, you can actually see my big-time Spider-Man is not that big at all, um, but he's still been doing really good on defense for me. He's G18, yes, but I have no reds on him whatsoever. I took him to Dark Dimension 6. Um, but you can see here, this is my defense, 2.2 million. And I've been holding in the top five consistently for the past three days. Had no issues. Even got ranked number one yesterday. But I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And until next time, this has been Doolum. Later, y'all.